Why would one buy a walking stick? Well, let's think about it. Why would you need this medical aid, if you will? For some people, their chronic skip is a leg day and they clearly need help walking. For others, they've gone and done leg day a little bit too hard and they need help walking after that. In my particular case, I have a dear wife who has a sciatic nerve problem and occasionally she has trouble walking and needs a little bit of help getting up and down the stairs at work. So I want to get a walking stick, not just any walking stick. I want one that had quite a good, really nice, cool, sharp design, as well as being useful in a self-defense situation. I found a product online which meets all those criteria. This is the Cold Steel Dragon walking cane. Now we're going to test and review it today and figure out if this is not only a good walking stick, but also a useful item for self-defense situations. Let's have a look. Alright, let's start with a physical description of the cane itself. For starters, it weighs in at 925 grams. That's roughly the weight of a sabre or many other single-handed swords. Now that great design I was looking for, as you can see here in the head, is of a Chinese dragon. It's got a lot of detail, both front, back, both sides. Just beautiful. And that is not only on the head, it continues the entire length of the cane itself, which is a series of curves and this scale design pattern. That obviously adds a bit of grip no matter where you grab onto it, and the curves on it really do remind me of a curl bar. The one thing it doesn't have, however, is a rubber stopper on the end to stop it slipping. Obviously, if you're already using the walking stick, you don't want to fall down and, you know, have any more injuries. The cane is 98 centimetres long. Now, I'm average height, around 175 centimetres, so for me that is just a nice functional height. As you can see, it comes right to the peak of my hip bone, and it's a good height for leaning and walking with, as you can see. Also, when it comes to self-defense, that's definitely a nice height for... Oh, jinky. Hmm. That's a really good height. Unlike a sword or any other edged weapons, with a stick like this, a concussive weapon, the name of the game is just way in the way. If a single hand, double hand, you just smash with it. Also, flip it around, and you've got something that resembles a kind of like a war hammer. It's heavily weighted at the front end, just for maximum power. Now, when you're swinging a sword, obviously, you have to use proper edge alignment rather than slapping them with the blade. Now, obviously, a hitting this way, this way, whichever way the stick has equal amount of damage, just how much force you put into it. One advantage is a sword strike such as this or this is parried. You can just swing around their guard. It doesn't matter, you can just whip through, whip through their guard, just curve around. Everything works. The hook, you can drag stuff out of the way, smash and crack. I won't let my mum use a walking stick unless I know it's strong. Yeah, nice deadlifts, kid, just out of the way. Like I said, the shape of this stick's like a curl bar. So we're going to do a set of curls with it, yeah! Now that's 15 kilos on each end, so that's 30 kilos on the stick. As you can see, it's holding the weight easily. This is a strong walking cane. Now, obviously, once I finish my set, we're going to get to the fun stuff and smash a few things with it, because I know that's the best part of any cold steel review. <clears throat> okay, do some more beds. Okay, just on a nightly stroll with your cane and you come across a ruffian. Oh no! Oof, you sir are no gentleman. He died. Whoa. Oh! Well, apples are no match for this stick. Let's get serious now and smash some ice blocks. Oh. <laughs> oh. Every 
now and again you get the road rage at some cyclist who's not in the bike lane and you want to do something about it. I'm speaking, of course, hypothetically only in Minecraft. Let's see how it goes. Oh. Yes, it's definitely going to have a headache after that. Is there anything in all this cane won't smash? We're going to find out now with this red brick. Ooh, well, it looks like we have tested to failure. The head snapped off. Red brick won that round. Now I think I can see the problem here in all honesty. There is a air bubble there right where a crack. That's a real shame because I had a few more things I wanted to break with it. Okay, so the dragon has lost its head. However, we still have the tail. So now we're going to find out what happens if we go against this coconut. Let's have a look. Whoa. Nice. Mm, that's a tasty coconut. So, can I recommend this product? Well, as you can see, even the light end completely obliterated that coconut. So, if, if you ever need to crack someone's coconut, in Minecraft obviously, this will definitely do the job. However, a red brick was too far. Now, as you can see, my particular product had a factory defect that has this air pocket right where it failed. Would it have smashed the brick as well if it didn't have this air pocket in my particular one? We'll never know. I'm not going to throw this away. I'm going to re-glue it, maybe drill it out, put like a little rod or something in to hold it together. So this will be fine. Can I recommend the product? Well, like I said, if you want something that's going to function as a medical aid, and self-defense tool. I think this is obviously is up to task, but if you're knocking down brick walls, perhaps use a sledgehammer. 